First look at Arrow OS based on Android 11 running on the POCO F3, Redmi K40 or Xiaomi Mi 11X. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Arrow OS based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K40, the POCO F3 or the Xiaomi Mi 11X. So here it is, we do have the official build, security patches from June 2021. The kernel they are using is Arrow's own kernel. Now I do have the G apps build installed, which means that you won't get access to pixel launcher but you do have arrow launcher and again no select feature but you do have the screenshot feature which does work absolutely fine now the only thing which i have is like they should have the option to disable the screenshot sound because it is kind of irritating to me personally anyways this is how the volume panel looks like and of course you can expand it in case you want to Next up, let us have a look at the power menu. So this here is your power menu. And of course you can add more items to the power menu as well. Payment methods on top and the Android 11 Easter egg along with your smart controls would show up in the other area. And yes, the blur and zoom effect is working without any issues. And here are the quick setting tiles which are available. Press and hold on the tile and it will take you to the setting of that tile of course this is only applicable for tiles which have a down arrow beside them then if you tap on the edit icon you can of course add more tiles in case you want to add more tiles to your quick settings panel and if you tap on the settings icon bam here it is this is arrow launcher you can customize the number of rows and columns for your quick setting tiles do you want the settings indicator at the bottom or not what about the tile title so here it is if i turn this toggle on and off you do get real time preview as well so yes arrow launcher is not bad after all next up let us go ahead and check whether the screen recorder works without any issues or not but yes they have added a new toggle to lower the quality for smaller file size and with android 11 you can record device audio and microphone at the same time so the screen recording has started let us go ahead and see if there is any lag in the ui when you are accessing your applications and other things with the screen recorder working in the background nope there is no such lag in the background and once the screen recording has stopped you can of course share it and yes you can also access your notification history if you have enabled it next up let us head over to settings network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you do have the option to disconnect and if you go into advanced you can choose to auto connect on a per wi-fi basis as well if you go into wi-fi preferences you do have the feature of wi-fi timeout wherein whatever time duration you choose over here after that the wi-fi is going to turn off automatically then if you want your traffic indicators they are in the wi-fi section here it is enable it and you can also change your threshold using the slider if you want small mobile type icon you have a toggle for that as well next up let us go over to connected devices and you have a similar feature called bluetooth timeout whatever duration you choose over here bluetooth will turn off after that time moving over to apps and notifications let us go into chrome permissions go into location so you have three different options for your permissions and you also have the option to remove the permissions if the app is not used for some time and if you go into mobile data and wi-fi you do have per app network isolation which you can choose on a per app basis other than that you have your priority conversations notifications are present along with configuring your heads up notification and you also have notification history along with bubbles now do note that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now next up let us jump over to battery so in battery you do have your last full charge screen usage the battery temperature is present you also have battery manager to check if any app is going rogue battery saver is present you can set it on a schedule or based on a percentage you can also turn it off when the phone is charged to 90 percent and good news good news good news you can also reduce the refresh rate to 60 when the battery saver is turned on to save more battery then you also have smart charging which you can configure on a 
start and a stop trigger level and in case you want to reset the battery starts after that you have a toggle for that as well or you can also customize your battery icon style so here it is right now i am using the text style but you do have multiple options and if you use circle dotted you can also choose where do you want the battery percentage so yep a bunch of different customizations are present in the battery section moving over to display so you can of course configure your brightness level dark theme is present and let us turn it on right away once you turn on your dark theme you have the option of color bucket enabled and herein you have a bunch of other themes which include raven black and yes you do have a clear theme present as well so pretty good customizations so far then you can configure your night light adaptive brightness is present and working go into styles and wallpapers only one pre-baked theme out of the box let us try out the custom section so you do have five different fonts then you can change the different icon styles you can choose different colors no rgb accent picker over here unfortunately then you can choose your icon shapes as well let us choose the teardrop one give it a custom name and then go ahead and apply it so yes the style was set successfully and the accent color was changed the icons were changed so that feature is working without any issues and here on screen is android 11 bubbles and the easter egg cats game also working without any issues going back into styles and wallpapers you can of course choose your wallpapers as well so here are the on device wallpapers you do get a preview of the home screen and the lock screen go into grid you do have a bunch of different grid options and go into clock you do have a bunch of different clock options as well next up you can of course change your screen timeout you have a toggle for auto rotate screen go into colors you can choose between natural boosted and adaptive whatever you want to then you can change your minimum refresh rate and the maximum refresh rate so if you want to be on 120 always choose both minimum and maximum as 120 and you should be good to go then you also have screen saver go into lock screen here and you can configure your notifications on the lock screen if you want to add a custom text on the lock screen if you want lock screen charging info display media cover art and of course you can change the screen of animation as well we were using the crt one let us switch over to the scale one yep both of them work without any issues in case you want to enable your always on display you have a toggle for that as well do you want to wake the screen for new notifications and go into advanced settings this is your ambient so here you can configure your pickup hand wave and pocket mode now i think this what to do is misplaced and they might need to put it in the correct place then you also have double tap to wake enable the blurs and you can configure your font size display size the dpi and yep lock screen weather is present working without any issues with a bunch of different customizations and you can also configure your status bar items as well let us give double tap to wake a try yep works without any issues next up let us go over to sound so you can of course change the volumes using the different sliders you can link and unlink your ring and notification volume in case you want the volume panel on the left you have a toggle for that go into vibrate for calls you can configure your vibrations then you do have live caption the option to enable or disable the android 11 media player in the quick settings you also have a shortcut to prevent ringing you can change your ringtones you have toggles for all these options now two toggles which i would personally like over here are a toggle to disable the screenshot sound and the same applies for the screen recording sounds as well then you also have your in call vibration options so vibrate on connect call waiting and disconnect next up on the list is security so options galore you have screen lock fingerprint is present super fast super reliable face unlock is also present works absolutely fine do note that this is not ir face unlock it is using the normal camera on the front so less secure than ir face unlock then you also have app lock which works with your fingerprint and your face and your pin as well 
next up you have buttons so in buttons you can of course enable the advanced restart let us try restart and there it is advanced restart in the building working without any issues then you can also choose your power menu actions so we do have the screenshot option enabled let us enable screen record as well so there it is screen record is now present along with screenshot then you can also choose the maximum actions to show in case you want to invert the layout if you're using your three button navigation you have a toggle for that and then what do you want to use the volume rockers for do you want to use it for volume wake or do you want to use it for playback control so you can use only one of them at a time next up you have gestures so again quickly open the camera by pressing the power button twice from any screen you do have screen off power torch so long press power to toggle torch let us give it a try bam working without any issues long press one more time and the torch is now turned off next up you have configuring the system navigation so again three different options gestures two button or three button if you go into the settings for gestures you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge then you can also configure your gesture bar length in case you want to hide it you can do that as well you can configure your dead zone also unfortunately no option to hide the back arrow yep there is no option to hide the back arrow then you can of course prevent ringing so pressing power and volume up together to put the phone either into vibrate or into mute three finger screenshot is present power menu you can configure your cards and passes device controls all those things double tap on the status bar to sleep yep works without any issues now with respect to the three finger screenshot it works absolutely fine again the irritating sound anyways so three finger screenshot works but you do not have long screenshot let us next move over to system so in system you can of course change your date and time you have the reset options updater yes updater is present and do note that we do have an install video for this rom in the description of the video and it does support ota updates next thing we can check for is safety net so again device is not rooted right now only install the magisk app to check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing without any issues if you go to the google play store and herein we can check whether the device is certified in the play store or not so settings play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine Life caption works no jitters no lags audio works but of course for picture in picture to work you either need to be in a specific country or you need to pay for YouTube premium next up let us also open the photos application and as you can see I am getting two options original quality or storage saver so yes with the June patch for pixel devices it has changed to storage saver and let us go ahead and confirm this skip it for now and let me try to edit a picture of my favorite football star what we are checking for here is whether we have the option of portrait light or not so let us finish loading the bar then go into portrait light bam here it is portrait light available working without any issues do note it only works on human objects so if i try to edit a picture of my chicken friend over here then i'm not going to get the option of portrait light next up let us check if hey google is working or not so it works with the screen turned on let us turn the screen off hey google are you awake yep as you can see the lady is awake so it works with the screen turned off as well as for the apps which come baked in the only three apps which i have installed are magisk photos and youtube everything else comes baked in with the g apps build and those of you who are looking for gcam they can be found in the description of the video next thing we can check for is the app opening animations to see if you have any jitters any lags anything like that in the ui nope everything is smooth so far let us have a look at the recents again super fast super smooth let us check out the google feed also no jitters no lags visible to the naked eye everything is super fast the transition from your google feed to the home screen pretty smooth let us try switching between a few applications while we are at it again super fast and super smooth so what is the final take on arrow as well in my humble opinion it is a great rom available for the poco f3 to redmi k40 or the xiaomi mi 11x whatever you want to call it 
there has been a lot of hard work put into this and me personally i haven't found any major issues but if you do find them do let me know in the comments below and there it is peeps that was our first look at arrow os based on android 11 running on the redmi k40 the poco f3 or the xiaomi mi 11x and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you